Da da da. All right, boys, it's go time, baby. Buckle up. So we got server life today. Welcome to Content Value Central, where we provide the most excellent. Okay, never mind. I was trying to do like a server thing. If you're new here, welcome. We're gonna have some fun. This is my boy Shape. He's gonna be sitting in today, and uh, we're gonna be talking about server life. Okay, I was a server bartender a long time. So was I. Yeah, so was he. And uh, yeah, let's let's get down to the nitty gritty here. I was never a bartender. Amount of work and the amount of pay do not match. All right, I'm gonna keep this simple and straightforward. I work as a waiter. This is a realistic <laughs> Saturday night at Bar Howard. A lot of people ask me all the time what kind of money do bartenders make. It really depends on a lot of factors. But I'm going to partake in this money count because I love videos like this. However, I may not do this again. So, <clears throat> so anywhere. It was wicked fucking slow. Um, but then but then a guy tipped us $1,000. So, it did even out, kind of. We, I think we did good. So, let's just fucking count it and figure it out. I'm getting pissed. $800 in stocks of 100 and then I just have this like free cash so like let's servers can make six figures Yeah, we know a few servers here on the strip who would easily make about 150 maybe as high as $200,000 a year Just working at a really high-end restaurant. We went out to dinner last night The table across from us got a $5,300 bottle of sake bartenders really don't make anything hourly, right? That's a mistake a lot of people make thinking that bartenders make all this money on the paycheck I actually didn't technically get a paycheck because my paycheck was two dollars and 14 cents a lot of the taxes from the the tips that I got in credit cards were taking out from that fortune that I earned, the $2.14. So a lot of times those paychecks were negative. What's the most amount of money you've made bartending? Probably 100000 or close to in a year. That was all tips, correct? Yes. I'm just going to clear this up. Okay. <laughs> I've never personally experienced that whatsoever. Um, the most I ever made was bartending. And I would average about 1500 a week, mm. like three to four shifts. Uh, but I did have nights where I, my best night ever was 1400 bucks and I'm a dude and I don't know if you guys noticed what all those 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 two chicks kind of had in common. They were hot and they were women So that's a huge factor, but most people um, Most servers and bartenders They're not making that kind of bread like they're just not if you're a career server eventually you'll get to a place you ever see somebody who's like 50 and they're still waiting tables. They probably been waiting tables besides like an IHOP or a Denny's, which believe it or not, you can still make pretty good money there. But usually they found a spot and they've been there for 15, 20 years Facts. because they make that kind of money. But this is perfectly right here. This one goes, okay, I did not know that bartenders make 60 to $95 an hour. Like, holy cow, I'm amazed right now. Yeah, that's like a slim percent of them. 60 to 95 dollars an hour i have been in the industry since i was 18 years i'm gonna be 35 next month in my bartending career i have worked many shifts that i didn't even make minimum wage i worked like eight hours made less than 60 dollars i have put my time in. in yeah that's like real shit i've worked at places where it's like i don't think i'm going to pay my bill like i need a new job like when you serve what's the most you've ever made serving uh hmm my biggest tip was like a thousand dollar tip from this generous Indian guy, believe it or not. Yeah, generous Indian men are usually the best. Yeah. That's awesome. But for the most part though, like a normal night serving at most places, you're gonna make between like one to three hundred. That's like kind of your average from what I've experienced. Now I have worked at places where you make more than that. But anyways, let's get to this. This is a little trick of the trade because I bartended a long time. If you're new here, I like to read your guys' comments between the videos. Keep it fun, keep it light. This guy Donatello slap a fellow. He's great. He always got good shit. So he goes, sometimes a tip is a bribe. I'm not going to read the rest of that, but that's perfect. If you're ever at like a big, uh, like those places where the bartenders are saying they're making a thousand a night, usually it's jam packed. You can't really get to the bar. Um, as a person who bartended, if you give me just, you don't have to tip me every single time really good, but let's say you got a $10 drink and you slid me a 10 real quick. Next time you come to the bar, I'm going to see you. We're going to know. And it is like a cheat code. So think about that. If you're ever like, dude, I can't get a drink. Well, there you go. Now you know the trick. And tip them a little bit extra. This guy goes, when you're a male server and you make shit tips, but all the female servers brag about them making bank all the time. 
all the fucking I just time. put into work, so let's see how much money I make as a strip club bartender on a Wednesday night. So, yeah, money count we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four, five, six, seven. So, 1107 for a Wednesday night, hopefully. I'm for getting fucking. For a Wednesday night? You want to break something? I'll try Welcome it Welcome to the show. God, I'm getting pissed off. Fuck. Women. Yeah, I rarely experience that. Like the bar I worked at, I was the only male bartender, basically. Mm. Everyone else was blondes. Blonde white chicks. No offense, but that's the truth. That's what it was. No blonde black chicks? Never. Okay. Not one. I highly doubt they'd get... Actually, it'd probably be really good if they did yeah. that because they would stand out. Mm -hmm. It's a very white town. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that is like not normal. Like it wasn't even normal for a guy to be a bartender at the bar I was working at. Mm. Anyways, this dude goes, I'm 47 now. This is like career server bartender right here. He goes, I'm 47 now. Long story short, I fell into a bartending career when I turned 21. Mm. Some things happened and I had the opportunity at a mortgage when I was 19. Wow, that's a good opportunity. Mixing drinks and waiting tables paid for my home, my vehicles, my boats. I paid my friend's student loans. He paid his friend's student loans. Look at this. Oprah over here. <laughs> he goes, I've never had a credit card. I mean, okay, he just keeps going on. But that goes to show you why people like, honestly, you could get stuck into a trap. But big money aside, let's get into the realistic. This is more realistic right here of what servers make, your average kind of server. I'm Shammy and I made 163. I'm Emily and the most I've made in one night here is 250. All right, queen. There's Kate. 378. 378, my name's Chad, all right. My name's Amaya and I think it was like 260. All right, get it. <laughs> I'm Bree and I think I'm at like 365. Okay. My name is Alexis and the most I've made in one night is around 300 and maybe $4? Okay. She said 304. <laughs> she was reaching. She was like $304, bitch. Put it on. Oh, oh she's leading the ranks right now. $750. My name's Daniel. Damn. How long were you here? Without tits. Like 12 hours. Oh. No, nope, that was, so you blew it. He said he was there for 12 hours. It's called a double. Mm. If you're a server or bartender, you know what that is. But if you're out of the loop on a serving business, basically you just work a double shift. It's like any other job. Basically, you're just working 12 hours, like a nursing shift, but you're serving food instead of, uh, you know, medicine. But that's usually how a lot of servers make really good money. They'll work like two, three doubles a week. Open and close. Yeah. Op just morning till night, just eating shit, serving up smiles and uh, food and laughs. Uh, not even, just mostly food and drinks. Um, this guy goes, tipping culture in the U.S. is both ridiculous and broken. No reason why a waiter serving two people a $100 meal um, at a more expensive restaurant should be making twice the tip of a waiter serving two people a $50 meal. That's like the biggest difference, man. And that's literally it. Like, I could work at a place and <laughs> I'll make 300 a night. And you could work at a place, work the same hours, and your like, best night is 300 But it's that's all check average. I know, but that's what he was saying. Yeah. It's a there's the the price point, yeah. but it's the same shit. It's not like you're doing more work. Nah, no, you might do less work at a nice place. Why? Because you wore a tie. You know what I mean? The power of the tie. I don't get it, but for some reason, when people wear a tie, <laughs> it's like tip me more. No, no, it's it's like the there's like this thing with wearing a tie where it's like, well, that guy's that guy must be smart. I don't understand. I don't like ties personally. No offense. But this, this guy had an excellent point. This is why a lot of people get stuck in the uh, server trap, which I'm guilty of. Plus, I didn't want a regular job, which is most people in the server business. You know why I love being a server? Because I can literally spend all my fucking money on bills and then go to work and then leave with more money. Classic. Y'all at your other jobs can't do that. Once you spend your whole money on your bills and shit, you got to wait till next check. Yeah, that is one thing about being a waiter or bartender. You get, you generally, most places, you get paid out that day. Cash. So you could be, like, because a lot of people, what are they, you know those advertisements you see where it's like the guy's in line, doesn't have money, and, she, and then the, someone's like, well, why don't you download the next day app? You can get your, <laughs> you can get your two-week paycheck ahead of time. Um, yeah, in the server business, you don't need that. You just need to go to work tomorrow or even pick up a shift today. 
and you'll be chilling. But this is also more realistic what this chick says. Um, and me personally, I think serving is kind of more of a young cat's game. Uh, once you get older, man, like serving was so much fun in my 20s. But the moment I turned 30 and I was bartending still, it really kind of, I really felt like I felt less than. Anyways, this month has been the worst for me ever. And I've been a server for freaking over, like, I've been in the restaurant industry for over seven years. But, um, yeah, like, today I've been here all day and I made $40. Good thing I got cut early because, no, baby, I don't even think this is minimum wage. So, like, how is this going for y'all? Let me know. Yeah, that's a sad reality, though, of serving. Because I've worked at places where, you know, life-changing money. Like, you know, you're making 50, 60, 70 a year. But then I've also worked at places where it's like, I think I might end up living in my car. I'm making nothing. Um, and that's kind of the reality of it. Because you could have a great job, but places don't last forever. And the older you get, especially in the server bartender game, the harder it is to get those, jot, those positions where you're making the kind of money we're seeing here. Or the best sections. Like, if you have a really good section. Oh, my God, dude. Like, you could work <laughs> you could work at the same restaurant as somebody making 1500 a week, and then you're only making, like, eight because you're not. They put you in the back. You're not top echelons. Like, they have their favorites. It's like, it's like most, it's like a lot of companies. But it's a very favoritism, and you kind of got to, like, really earn your spot. Uh, but this one goes to paint you a picture on why people would choose serving over a regular career. This was perfect. If you've been keeping up with me, you know I work two jobs. I'm a dental assistant, orthodontic assistant during the day, and I'm a waitress at nighttime on the weekend. So I work part-time as a waitress. Now, I tell my mom this all the time. I've made the most money as a waitress. When I first started waitressing, I was like, I was at IHOP for, I think, a year, and doing that i was 19 years old i was bringing home 1200 dollars in tips in a week see i would have never thought you could make that type of money on an ihop or a denny's until i met this one cat um I'm not gonna say his name but he he informed me that if you want to suck it up and work the late night shifts and work the shifts nobody wants to work graveyard you be you're the gonna be like that that how we said the one guy who's making 1500 the other guy who's making eight you could do that at an IHOP or a Denny's, but it's, it comes with a price, though. What I make in two weeks at a dental office is what I make in a week at a restaurant. I'm not telling y'all to go be waitresses or nothing, but I'm just saying. There's so much patience that requires you to be a waitress. Now, to me, it's worth it. It's worth the money, but not at every restaurant. Yeah, and honestly... The older you get in the server game, man, I'm gonna be real. I don't think anybody wants to be a waiter. I met one. Mm. I met one person in the the 15 years I would no, it was more like 12 years serving and bartending. One person who was like, I love restaurant business. I'm not getting. Like, I think they actually own a restaurant now. Mm. Um, like that one person. Everyone else. They're just there until they make it or get their degree. Or a lot of people have degrees and they just can't. Their other jobs don't pay as much as this fucking bar gig. This, uh, this person, Nikki, this was a really good one. This is kind of about like uh, the shitty part about tipping. Mm. This person goes, I've been in the food industry 20 plus years, still a server with a bachelor's degree in psychology. That's like so common in the restaurant business. Um, she goes, I make way more as a server. Tips show appreciation. That's it. If you suck at your job, you shouldn't get tipped. But down here it says uh, her hubby is Mexican and his family from Mexico claim they don't tip uh, over there. So they don't tip when they come to the States. It's BS. Yeah, that's another shitty part about the serving game is they don't have to tip you. Like I've been um, and, and the worst part, too, is when you get tipped, you don't keep the all the money. This goes to paint you a picture like you literally pay. <laughs> This is fucked up. Yeah, you know, as a server, people think when I pick up that book and that person tip me $40, that that full $40 goes into my pocket. That's a motherfucking lie. Because when I print that checkout and I add up all my sales, I have to give a cut to everybody. Check this out. That's my money for the night, right? Go home with that? Nope. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Got to give 20 to the front. 
Got to give 140 to the busters. Holy shit. Got to give 75 to the bar. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they be counting that shit out. They make sure. <laughs> they do. Their money. No, they, they don't do stuff to No, they really all. do. I was one of the few bartenders that was like, if somebody had a bad shift, I'd be like, whatever. Because it's like, wh- who am I? I'm making four or 500 tonight, and this server's hoping to walk out with 150. You know, like how greedy can you get? Honestly, some of them very greedy. Not going front. And another thing about bartending that I noticed... They call it giving away the bar. Mm. So even though we could pull four, five hundred a night, at least at the place I was working, eight hundred, a thousand on a great night, um, we had some greedy ass bitches just giving. I'm talking like, give a drink, somebody pays cash, says keep the change. The bitch didn't even ring it up, nothing, just throw it in their tip jar. Mm. And um, you know, I felt kind of guilty because I'm splitting that with the bartenders. But I was also thinking to myself, I'm like. I'm like, don't we want to keep this place open? Like, chill out. Anyways. Two. Got to give 75 to the runners. And guess what? When I leave, I take what's left. This person had an ex- excellent point. They go, I don't think most restaurants choose to pay their employees less. Look at how many restaurants fail. Most are just getting by. Yeah. And as you can see from that. We, the servers and the bartenders, basically, we pay everybody except for the cooks and the management. So, bus boys, bar backs, a lot of that in house hosts for the most part, even the hosts get tipped out for, at, at a lot of places. Even if they give you a bad section, <laughs> you got to tip them. Yeah. And, and usually they don't know. One spot I worked at, the host, uh, the host and one of the servers were boyfriend, girlfriend. Oh. So, he'd always be getting the big parties. I really didn't give a shit because I, you know, you always make do. But there's this weird dynamic in the server world, man. I'm just glad I'm out of it. I, I do, I, I don't want to say I'm ungrateful for the times I've had and the money I've made in it because I am. But the older you get in this business, man, it is like you're gambling all the time with your livelihood. But I guess that's everybody in life, to be honest. This person goes, Jack, the acronym TIP started in a London coffee shop and literally stands for to ensure prompt service, Mm. putting you and yours to the front of the line. Um, I put that in there just in case you didn't know what that TIP stood for. But another thing too, it don't matter how much you do for someone in the restaurant business. You could be over the top, song and dance. I'm talking you know, shoulder rub, you know, it's might be a little too far, a little excessive, but, um, it don't mean you're going to get a good tip. Um, and Once that's you go and eat the table. Yep. And that's the risk you take in this business. But we're going to end on this note because I know a lot of people, if you're a waiter or bartender, maybe you're older and you're kind of, you're feeling bad about your job. I just, I put in this uh, little inspirational clip from uh, old man Jenkins here. I thought it was pretty, pretty sweet. In the cosmic scheme of things, your job is not that important. It really isn't. Other people (laughs) do their jobs and yeah, you make a living. But your alignment with life, your recognition of life in your lifetime is so important to let go, to surrender, to realize that you are part of all that is, and you are perfect just as you are. Not your job, not what you think you are in your head, but the essence of you. That's what's important. It was a little corny, but I thought it was touching. You felt that, right? You didn't see that clip. So you no. didn't know. Anyways, a bit corny, but hey, leave your guys' thoughts. If you're a server, bartender, go ahead and you know talk it out, or if you're not. Uh, not everybody can handle that lifestyle, just like I couldn't handle working in an office all day. And yeah. leave your tip for our service, all right? <laughs> yes, we will be. Venmo, Cash App. No, I'm just kidding. Anyways, shout out. Speaking of tips, thanks to all my Patreon members. I appreciate all you guys. Um, I also want to do a special thanks to Roger Watson. Watson, he uh, mailed me a couple goodies. He sent me a um, the power of the internet, right? Sent me a tablet, brand new. Is more than kind of him. He sent me a bunch of stuff. Thank you very much for that. It means a lot. Thanks to all my Patreon members. You guys can go check out Shape's channel. I'll leave a link below. Fellow YouTuber. Also, I keep forgetting to update this. I just want to shout out all the newest Patreon members. Shout out to Derek Tamkin, John Dozer, Living Moments, 
Tom Card, Austin Kessler, and uh, uh, Big Will, and Midnight Boba. I appreciate all you guys. Don't forget Callie G. And uh, God, hell of a talk. You guys leave your thoughts. And uh, hopefully tonight's service was excellent. Okay, don't forget to leave a Google review, please.